Where do you dine in Atlantic City? I'm a foodie, so I definitely love, um, I mean, working for Star, you have such a great selection of restaurants, Philadelphia here and in Atlantic City. Um, down in Atlantic City, I mean, you have, obviously you have Chef Vola, which is uh, a hidden gem. Uh, I'm a big fan of Knife and Fork. Um, and then you have, uh, you know, a great selection of restaurants. Obviously you have Continental and Budokan, and, you know, you have some nice restaurants at the Revel and at um, the Borgata as well. Which clubs or bars do you enjoy? I, I still do, even at my old age, still do frequent some clubs here and there. Um, Atlantic City now at this point has really become uh, a nice, um, has a nice selection of clubs to go into, um, especially with the house music explosion here in Atlantic City. Uh, Borgata is a great one with Murmur in the mix. Um, obviously HQ has definitely hopped onto the scene with booking some great DJs this summer. You have Anthem, which is a great uh, club that's been around for a long time, and then always the Dust Group. You have 21 Bar and Dust downstairs who do a great job. Tell us something about Atlantic City that most people don't know. Well, a big thing about Atlantic City, I mean, that people forget about is the boardwalk and the beach. I mean, that's one of the things that, you know, really separates Atlantic City from everywhere else. I mean, everybody has casinos. Atlantic City, what we have are the casinos, but we have the boardwalk and the beach. So if you're here, definitely check that out. What's the best place to take a date? You, with so many options, you can do a ton of things. I mean, you can go to the aquarium first, you can go to the IMAX theater at the Tropicana. There's different bars and clubs to go and have a cocktail at first, head out to dinner at one of the great restaurants, Continental and Budokan, or you know, any of the other ones in Atlantic City, wink, wink, and uh, you know, end up at one of the great clubs that are, that are around Atlantic City to end off your night, or even just a bar in, in one of the casinos, the Rebel or the, or, you know, the Borgata, or, or any of the other great casinos in Atlantic City. What's your favorite place to get a drink? Well, at this age, uh, I'm not going out as much as I used to. I, you know, I definitely spend a lot of time at you know Dusk and Twenty One Bar, but you know Anthem is a uh, is a family favorite. You know, definitely stop in there and, and have a cocktail. Great new place. You know, reopen. Um, uh, I'm also a fan of Borgata. You know, definitely. You know, Racebook, Izakaya. You know, B Bar is a great place just to have a cocktail if you don't want to go into that club atmosphere. Where do you like to get sushi? I got to stay local again. I mean, Sozai does a great job, great environment. Take a look at the, the views outside of the ocean and the beach. I mean, it's definitely a, a recipe for success. Where do you recommend having a bachelor or bachelorette party? I mean, we do a ton of bachelor and bachelorette parties here at Continental and at Budokan. Our special events department, Kara Rice, does a great job with making sure that, you know, we're packed on both, in both restaurants with bachelor and bachelorette parties every weekend, during the week. I mean, it's a great place, fun place, environment. Um, to go outside of here, um, the Palm with Paul Sandler, uh, he has a private room, which is great for bachelor and bachelorette parties as well, um, divorce parties, the whole nine yards. So, I mean, there's definitely some great spots. Where do you like to shop? I mean, obviously the pier's got some great shops, some, some higher end shops. You got your Gucci, your Louis Vuitton, you got Apple here. I mean, definitely some, some great high end shopping. And then you can walk right out the door and you have uh, the outlets. I mean, the Tangier outlets, great place to shop. Tons of different outlets. I mean, if you can't find something to buy there, then you're not going to be able to shop. I mean, definitely a great place. What are the best spots to take the kids? It is open to Glow Golf here, which I took my son to, which is, which is a ton of fun. And again, I'm going to say the outlets, you have the aquarium. Um, the, the Tropicana of the Quarter has, has uh, uh, some nice shops for kids as well. Um, and then of course the beach and the boardwalk, again, what makes Atlantic City famous, you know, part of, a, part of the history. What is the biggest misconception about Atlantic City that you hate? Um, I don't like that we're just gambling. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's, anybody can do gambling. It's what else do you do? I mean, there's tons of entertainment, shows, like I said, uh, clubs, uh, nightlife, DJs. Um, entertainment, we have shopping, you have the pier, you have the walk, you have the boardwalk, you have the beach. So at this point, I mean, we're not just casinos. I mean, we're, we're, we're trying to, to make it something bigger where there, there's tons of things to do at all times of the day. Why should people come to Atlantic City as opposed to other places with gambling? And we have so much here besides gambling, even in the particular casinos. I mean, there's some casinos that have everything where you don't have to leave, where you have, you know, pools and nightlife and restaurants and shopping. I mean, it's they're self-contained. So, I mean, some of the casinos in Philadelphia or New York or Delaware, that's all they are. They're just a gambling hall. But you look at us, I mean, we have tons of stuff. And again, beach and boardwalk, don't miss it. Tell us about a night in AC that you'll never forget. I opened my first restaurant, Jonathan's, and I went to my first restaurant gala as a chef owner. I mean, that was definitely a highlight of my night out of my life, being able to, to be around a lot of uh, the Atlantic City chefs and restaurant tours, being a restaurant tour myself. Uh, it was definitely a, a great moment, one I'll always remember.